there are two illnesses associated with ukulele play. And I'm not talking about problems with your thumb or your index finger or tennis elbow. <laughs> I'm talking about UAS, which everybody is familiar with and very few people are spared from this illness, and EUD, which is a, an illness or disease that I have recently uncovered and diagnosed for the first time. UAS is characterized by the symptoms of anxiety and excitement. People go shopping for ukuleles. Ukulele acquisition syndrome. They buy one and then they got to buy another one. And they buy another one, and they got another one. And they see their hero playing this one, so they buy that one. And it goes on and on until they have 10 or 12 ukuleles, or more. <laughs> Everybody knows about UAS. But what about EUD? Now, this is a far more serious disease, and it can prove very costly. EUD, or expensive ukulele disease, is characterized by a delusional patient. The patient has an idea that if they buy an expensive ukulele, they will sound really good when they play the ukulele. Now, these illnesses we're talking about, UAS and EUD, we're talking about sicknesses of new players. Once players become proficient at ukulele, they grow out of these illnesses pretty much. They've got all the ukuleles they need, and they have the expensive ones if they need them by that time. But we're talking about new players. And the reason that these illnesses are so important in new players is because they may never even learn to play the ukulele. They just may be fans. They just may be crazed. They buy all these ukuleles. They buy expensive ukuleles. They never actually get around to learning to play. That is the tragedy of these illnesses. Doctor, are you saying that if I buy this $300 or $3,000 ukulele, I won't sound any better than I do now on this $41 ukulele? Yes. I'm saying that you won't sound a bit better, but you'll look a lot more foolish. That hurts, doctor. <laughs> that hurts. Inexpensive ukuleles sound, I say, 95% as well as the expensive ones. For a new player, there is no difference whatsoever in the sound. Both will be bad. And if a new player learns how to thumb strum, or do other basic strums, the sound is not going to be any better. It's not going to sound any better why buy the expensive ukulele when what you really need is to be practicing and not shopping? Take this pill, go home, forget about expensive ukuleles, get you one or two good, solid, nice, inexpensive ukuleles, and put yourself to the task of learning how to play. EUD, expensive 
ukulele disease. Be very careful not to acquire that one.